thoughts and stories that made his imagination fly. He dreamed of fairies, goblins, and fantasy creatures that existed beyond the walls that confined him. But over the years, as he grew older, the mansion seemed to him to grow ever smaller until his home became a prison for him. Finally, the night that he turned 12, he ran away. Why wouldn't he? After all, he could never have imagined that the mansion existed only to protect him. Enemy in the sky, I can launch them twice as high. Take a look, I'm in a book, you're reading ergo. I can't go anywhere. Bearers to know, and ways to grow, you're reading ergo. I can kill anything. Take a look, I'm in a book, a reading ergo, a reading ergo, a reading ergo!
those statue heads. What? They were guardian spirits. If we want to pass through, we need to find those things and destroy them. They can't be far from here. I can feel them. Good girl! You really are doing your homework. You may be able to control my powers better than I thought. Shut up. Shit! You remember what I said to you before about being careful with higher knobs? That's a queen! Jonathan couldn't believe how fascinating the outside world was. Vast, green pastures spread between beautiful mountains. Just a few hours ago, he had left the mansion, and all that he saw only increased his attraction to the wondrous outside world. But his greatest surprise was to discover he wasn't alone. There weren't normal people like he expected, but fantastic creatures swarming everywhere, the same kinds which appeared in the tales he read in his library. Both horrible monsters and wonderful beings observed the little one with fascination, and to his surprise, tried to help him. Soon, a legion of creatures began to follow Jonathan, as if they had never seen someone like him before. From them, Jonathan found out that they were in a place called Folklore, the back of a huge creature of vast proportions. The world was changing, and the fantasy was dying. The last fairy tales had taken refuge there, 
trying to accumulate enough power to survive. But none of them knew why Jonathan was there. In order to find answers, the creatures advised the child to travel to the heart of the mountain, where the Lord of Fantasy was. Jonathan thought it was a great idea.